In this video, I'm going to show you how to add inputs to your app script from the Google Sheet in order to make your SQL polls and your narrative reporting more dynamic. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going back to the example we were using in the last video of bringing in BigQuery data for a store, uh, comparing it from one year to another year and pulling that out into a large language model to build a narrative report. And this is using BigQuery and Google Gemini. The methodology to do this part is in the previous video. I'll put a, a link up to that now. I'll go over the code briefly in this video, but really I'm focusing on this new part, which is my input parameters. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving the SQL and Google Gemini some input parameters that the user can define itself. So in here, I've got a year, I've got a comparison year. I have a category, which is a drop down list. You can just make something a drop down list by going to here and then giving it a validation input so I can change these when I want. And then I'm giving it a user, an option to define a prompt, which I'm going to add other prompts to in the back end to ensure that the data is formatted correctly. Um, and this is going to give the user the opportunity to create our own custom prompt or test prompts going through Gemini. Let me just give you a quick example of what this does before we run into the code. So this data set is a sales data set across a lot of stores. I'm going to use 2021 as my base year and then my comparison year is going to be 2020. I'm going to look at spiced rum and in the city of Iowa City and I'm going to leave the prompt the same. So what will happen here is that these parameters will be sucked into the back end and then the data and the report will be updated with these parameters. So I'm going to refresh the report and the data. And now I've got my spiced rum uh, from 2020 to 2021 for all my items and my vendor names. You can see the pivots changed with that as well. This pivot then goes through and creates this report and you can see total spiced rum sales. So this is taken the new report and it has refreshed just to show you that again if i just refresh the report here pulling it from the pivot page sending it to the back end and then creating our custom report here so from the back end what we need to do here is create a new function as i'm getting the active spreadsheet and then i'm getting a sheet by name called input so you can see here that this is my input sheet if this doesn't exist, I'm just going to throw an error and this will just be input not found. Then what I'm doing is I'm getting my values as a range of values. So that's C5 to C9. And then I'm also setting a validation range, which is E5 to E9. This is what I'm picking up, C5 to C9. This is my validation range because what I want to do is if something's blank, I want to uh, raise an exception and raise an error so the script doesn't run. I've got my values and my validation set, and then I'm creating lists uh, to hold those values and backgrounds. I'm going through a for loop here, and if the value is provi provided, I'm pushing a light green background. If the value is not provided, pushing a light red background and I am making an error message here. And if there is an error message, I'm trying a new error message, which will make this not valid. So it won't go forward to the next uh, part of the script. And then I'm going to return my values one to five. So I then call this function in another uh, function, which is called fetch BigQuery data. And this just gives me access to the variables here. And then I'm inserting the variables into my SQL query, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's just show you how this validation works. The only validation I have here, and you can build up the validation for each cell to be a little bit more, is I just want to make sure that these fields exist. So if I take out this 2021 field, when I go to run this function, which is refresh data, because this is in both the refresh data and the refresh report functions, it'll run the script and throw me an error saying the field one is empty. And you can see here, the light red background, and then error input not provided. I have got my values in here. This is var1 to var5. And now I can use these within my SQL query pull, and I can use them within my prompt. The query I'm putting in here is the same query as the last video, is that I'm pulling the year, category name, item description, vendor name. In the where clause is that 
I'm extracting year from date in the variable one and variable two. So what this will do is it'll take the year out of the date and then it'll check whether that's either my first year or my second year. So that's how I put it in there. And then the category name is input.var3. So if you look at this, when I pull the variables in, when I set that variable in here, this is, becomes input.myvariables1 to 5. So input.var3 is my third variable, which is category in here. The SQL statement pulls in the data and sets the data into my sheet. And next thing I want to do is use the prompt in order to format the report. So again, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm doing a var import equals pull variables within my format report. And then I'm going down into my prompt and I'm using this input five within my prompt. The prompt that's in here, I'm providing you two years of data for product sales. Then I'm adding on a after prompt, only refer to the data provided, do not make anything up because in some cases this was going back to information within the large language model and pulling in additional data, which I didn't want. And then I'm saying the full data is the aggregated data. And essentially the aggregated data in here is the pivot. And then this is just a little bit of formatting and we're putting the output on the page. And when I run the, um, the generate report, it's authenticating, it's fetching my BigQuery data and it's formatting my report all in one. So you can see this here, just one more example, 2023, to 2022 i'm going to use the same parameters in here and i'm going to run the report and data and what this will do is that'll refresh my data then takes a little bit goes off pulls that data into the prompt tells me that my sales increased from uh, 2022 to 2023 and here's the growth i've got the whole script for this out on github if you want to run it yourself you'll be able to run it yourself because this is a google cloud data set and uh, so you should be able to run it from back to front the whole lot with this script as long as you follow along with the google sheet and the names of all the tabs you know parameters are really important to google sheets because it makes everything dynamic and it just makes your automated reports a lot easier to run and opens up to a lot more options of user input i hope you found that useful follow for more